Item number, SCP-4493. Object class, Keter. Description, SCP-4493 is a phenomenon that affects large organizations, especially corporations and political groups, that publicly profess solidarity with or support for LGBT individuals during the month of June. When affected organizations publish social media posts or advertisements that express support for the LGBT community, those media will be altered to highlight the negative impacts that the organization in question has had on LGBT individuals. SCP-4493 can also create new posts on social media sites. SCP-4493 appears to be transmitted between organizations that have notable economic or political ties. It can also be transmitted between organizations that send groups to march in the same LGBT pride parades. Social media posts altered or created by SCP-4493 are designated SCP-4493-1. SCP-4493-1 instances cannot be deleted from their original social media platform by usual means. This property extends to SCP-4493-1 reposted to other social media pages, i.e. retweets on Twitter. As a result, containment of SCP-4493-1 instances requires cooperation with both the affected organization and the social media platform that contains the SCP-4493-1 instances. Physical advertisements, such as billboards or pamphlets, affected by SCP-4493 are designated SCP-4493-2. SCP-4493-2 instances are altered instantaneously, changing between frames when the transformation is recorded. SCP-4493-2 instances are always created from previously existing media, rather than created spontaneously by SCP-4493. They maintain no anomalous properties after their transformation and can be destroyed without incident. Special Containment Procedures Under no circumstances is the SCP Foundation, any of its subsidiary companies, or any individual employee thereof to profess pride in or support of an LGBT identity during the month of June. Due to the nature of SCP-4493, Full containment is difficult. SCP-4493-1 instances are unable to be deleted from the internet platform upon which they are posted. MTF Lambada-69, riding spinners, are to be deployed to affected entities. Members of MTF Lambada-69 are to focus on providing spin to the information revealed in SCP-4493-1 instances, but also obfuscation in times where the information may be anomalous in nature. SCP-4493-1 instances can be obfuscated with Protocol Zero Cool. SCP-4493-2 instances may be summarily destroyed. Foundation moles are to be situated, where applicable, within corporations and police departments thought to be involved in unethical dealings with LGBT individuals or any other unethical practices. These moles are to attempt to discourage any show of support in LGBT identities during the month of June. Incident 4493-7 On the 24th of June 2019, a post by the Columbus Police Department's Facebook account became an instance of SCP-4493-1. It highlights numerous human rights abuses leveraged at LGBT individuals and others. Three police officers, Sergeant N. Crum, Officer B. Smith, and Officer L. Aaron, are highlighted to have used their positions to carry out numerous crimes on individuals within the city. The three police officers were later found dead in their respective homes. All are said to have died of heart attacks with no sign of foul play. GOI 5869's possible involvement is being investigated. The following interview requires O5 level clearance. Please answer this short question. Does the black moon howl? Verifying response. Answer verified. Welcome, council member. Due to SCP-4493, 
providing a Keter level containment procedure and causing undue stress, the actions of GOI 5869 were considered a breach of the current agreements and treaties with the Foundation. A meeting with 056 and POI 6870 was enacted in order to reach a resolution and or hold them accountable. This meeting took place on the 14th of June, 2019. The voice of 05-6 has been concealed to protect their identity. I'm 05-6, here on behalf of 05 Command and the SCP Foundation. <coughs> oh shit, sorry. I'm, I'm Jude Kriot. I'm here on behalf of myself. Do you expect me to believe that? Listen, dude, this was all me. No one else in the chat had anything to do with this. I don't think my actions should, you know, be used against the entirety of Gamers Against Weed. They've told me not to do this, if they've even heard about it. So you admit to the creation of SCP-4493, the so-called Pride Hacker? You know I don't know those numbers. Oh, it's, it's for the recording. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, yeah, I did it. I don't consider it a breach of our agreement. And how do you suppose that is? As far as I remember, and my only memory in my memory is surprisingly good. The agreement was that I keep all the kids in line. I keep everyone in my care from causing undue harm to the good people of this world. I make sure that the little dudes who can maybe cause you big troubles spend their energies on stupid fun shit instead of making monsters and sex palaces in their basements, right? Certainly. That was part of the agreement, but... I also don't... What was it? I don't pierce the veil. I don't make magic that's too visible to people in the normal world, or whatever you want to call it, right? Correct. And that's the issue. Did you think that you personally targeting Absolute Vodka wouldn't be a breach of the agreement? I don't think that even you could stretch the strictures of our agreement that far, sir. You know, that's the funny thing. I didn't target him. You didn't? That's the fucked up part. I put a little bit of me in that shout about a new Mr. Against Weed. I knew Wondertainment wouldn't be on that shit. It was like the flu, you know? Companies that work together, it spreads through their business dealings and manifests when they do some rainbow capitalism. And of course, Wondertainment supplies to Marshall, Carter, and Dark? Really, I expected this to stay in our sphere. I wouldn't have made the posts fucking sticky as hell if I knew those guys were dealing with, like, normie companies. I wouldn't have had to do that. It still would have been a breach of our agreement. Nah, but I don't consider our corporation a part of, you know, public, if anything. I think I'm doing a service. Unfortunately, the Foundation does not see it that way. Well, I guess I understood our agreement a little differently, huh? You know, many of my colleagues wish for us to rescind our protection entirely. They are not happy about this. I didn't hurt anyone. Not directly. Not at all! Not even a little bit! This will not be considered a breach of the agreement in light of the highlighted misunderstanding. The Foundation would like to note that any further involvement by Gamers Against Weed in the public sphere will be regarded as a breach and will render our protection null and void. Bullshit. Do you not accept the terms? <sighs> I accept, but let me say one last thing. Yes? If I were you guys, I wouldn't celebrate Pride anytime soon. And what makes you think our organization celebrates anything? 
please. Even the CIA tosses out a rainbow now that gay marriage is legal. Don't knock my dick around. So you're certain we're infected? Oh, 100%. By now, yeah, you've dabbled in this shit. It's all over you. I don't think my colleagues will be very happy. Fine with me, big dog. Am I free to go, or are you going to put me in a cell? No, you may leave. End recording. Despite POI 6870's general disrespect towards the Foundation and its motives throughout this meeting, POI 6870 was judged to be more useful uncontained, given the vast resources that would be necessary to contain him and the possible retaliation of GOI 5869. However, any further breach of agreement will be met with the full force of the Foundation.